Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video we are going to be decorating my kitchen for Christmas. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and hopefully you can get some inspiration from this as well. So I did want to mention that I actually had filmed this video maybe like five days ago but unfortunately my SD card disappeared off the face of the earth. I cannot find it and that's where all the footage is on. So I do have to refilm this video and I did end up changing up a couple things in the kitchen. So there are two versions that you guys will be seeing. You can actually see the reel of one of those versions in my Instagram. That is where I've been posting a lot of reels. I'm actually really proud of myself because I've been posting so consistently on Instagram and on TikTok as well. So I've like challenged myself to try and grow both of those accounts at the same time as I'm doing YouTube. So we'll see how that ends up working out I, i've like kind of been doing okay i'm a little proud of myself um but anyways if you do want to see the initial version of what the kitchen used to look like then you can go check out my instagram i have a reel there that you can see of what that used to look like but anyways if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and let's hop right into it so to start off, I started by wiping down the counters with some Target brand disinfecting wipes. I find that this is the easiest way to remove grease and bacteria from my counters with little to no effort. So when it comes to styling my kitchen, I typically like to add an element in between the counter and the items that I'm using. This basically allows those pieces to be showcased and to have their own moment. So for that, I'm gonna be using a wooden cutting board. And then for my utensil holder, I'm actually using this pot that I found at home. It comes in three different sizes and I am using the eight inch. And then to add that minimal Christmas touch, I am using this $2 stem that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I just added it to the right side of where my spoons are. Moving on to the rest of the cutting board, I found this beautiful mortar and pestle at Home Goods for $7.99 and you can easily style it just like this, but I actually decided that adding garlic would be more practical for my home. For above my stove, I decided to hang this wreath that I found at Hobby Lobby for $3. I kept the plastic ring that, I, that the tag was attached to just to make it easier for hanging. And then basically I just used a small clear command hook to hang it up. And instead of using the sticky tab that it comes with, I actually purchased the double-sided Gorilla Tape from Home Depot and that made it hold up very, very well. And for the stove, I typically have a griddle that comes with the stove, but it's been getting in the way while I cook. So for now, I just placed a spoon holder and a candle to add some warmth to my space. Moving on to the opposite side of the stove, this frame was initially on my built-in, but I decided that it would be better to have it in the kitchen. The frame is thrifted and the print is from an Etsy seller. I will link that down below for you guys. And I basically just printed the image at my local CVS. And then to keep the frame from tipping forward, I used the same Gorilla Tape that I placed on the top of the wreath. And I just put that on the top of the frame to secure it to the backsplash. And then these spice mills are the newest addition to my decor collection. I'm so obsessed with them and how they look and they just deserve their own moment. So I went ahead and placed that on there. And then I also added this little salt tray that I found at Home Goods. For the corner portion of my kitchen, I purchased these black metal book holders and it's meant to only be used as one, but because the way that they were made, I can't have the book propped open without it tipping over. So I used both of them and then I just found a page on my book that I really, really liked. I'm actually gonna be getting rid of this book and buying a different one that fits me better. So I am gonna be selling this one just to kind of replace it with the one that I ordered from Amazon and that'll be getting delivered in like a couple days. But anyways, I went ahead and just laid a napkin and then put over this gingerbread man rolling pin to add some more visual interest to this corner. And then last Lastly, I just added some Christmas tree cookie cutters on the left corner. I highly recommend always taking a stroll down the cutting board aisle at Home Goods because you can definitely find hidden treasures like this cutting board. You can actually find very, very similar ones on sites like Wayfair for over $100 and this one was only $15.99. So anyways, I decided to add a ribbon to my board and I'm not a bow expert, but I basically tied it like it would, like I, you would do a shoelace and then I shaped it afterwards until I was happy with the look. Thank you. 
Then I took this thrifted candle holder and added this very realistic faux LED candle and then I placed that in there and then I also added a napkin ring that I purchased last year from the Hearth and Hand collection and used that like as a mini wreath for it. And then on the opposite side of the board, I placed this wooden nutcracker from Hobby Lobby, which I will have a DIY for it very, very soon and it's basically just a DIY to make it look a little bit more high end. And then for the corners of my kitchen, I just added some vases, which I will be adding flowers to soon. I'm probably gonna butcher this, but I'm trying to add hendrangeas. <laughs> Hopefully I said that correctly. And then for my island, I like to keep it rather simple and very minimal since my kids do eat here. And I just added this black pot and a real pine tree that I purchased from Target. Because I do have faux Christmas trees all over my home and faux arrangements, I thought that it would be great to have a fresh tree here. And it'll just make it feel a little bit more Christmassy. And it also gives me a chance to maintain it and try to make it grow before Christmas. So we'll see how that ends up working out. Um, but anyways, it also came with these fairy lights. So I just added those as well. I really wanted to tie everything together, so I decided to add this garland over my cabinets, and I think it really tied everything together. And last but not least, I removed the black vase and instead added this cake stand for pastries. The glass cover is from a hearth and hand cake stand and then the white stand is from Home Goods. And that is basically it for my kitchen decorate with me, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. As I mentioned, it's very, very minimal. I think the only thing that I'm gonna change in this is the frame. I'm gonna find a more festive print to put in there. And then basically in the cake stand, we're gonna be doing some gingerbread cookies very, very soon just to add to that. And that's pretty much it. I really love the way it turned out. Just super minimal. It gives me a lot of counter space to work with when it comes to, you know, putting snacks together for the kids or cooking, but it still looks stunning styled and just very designer like so definitely let me know what your favorite part about this was and yeah All right, and that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know what your favorite section of this was. And also let me know which version you like better, if you like the first version or if you like the second version. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.